إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب May the peace and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon us all. I welcome you to yet another production in our series, Islam and Science. Today, we shall be looking at the resurrection of the physically dead. Whether it is possible for any human to wake up the dead, or whether it is possible to wake the dead up, with me today in the studio to do the discussion are to my immediate left, Dr. Majid Allah Al Hassan. He is a medical practitioner. And next to him is Murabi Abdul Ghafur Said, who is a missionary at the MTA Africa. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Without wasting much time, um, Doctor, is it possible? to wake the physically dead up. Thank you very much for, um, <clears throat> um, to answer directly, scientifically, the answer is no. Okay. In the sense that um, death, when death occurs, there's a cessation of all human um, physiologic functions. Okay. And this is normally uh, manifested by the absence of a heartbeat and also the abs absence of a respiratory function. The heartbeat is what sends blood that contains oxygen to all parts of the body in order to ensure the function of the organs. Okay. And the breath is also what brings oxygen, which we all know is very vital for survival, into the blood and this is um, sent to all parts of the body. The same blood also carries the nutrients uh, which the body organs also need for um, their function. Okay. And these functions are from the brain. We have the cognitive function where a person is conscious, I mean, awake, is able to talk, uh, is able to hear, is able to see. And meaning that when there is death, all these functions are no more. Okay. And immediately these uh, vital physiological functions are cut off. There is a, within three to four minutes, there is a, a cascade of events that occurs which leads to the destruction of these body organs. Okay. And the brain is known to be one of the organs that um, begin decomposition. Uh, it goes through several stages um, of decomposition where uh, we have um, an initial stage of uh, autolysis. That means there's breakdown of the small, the, the various components of the parts of the body. Okay. Then there's bloating after that, then you get the uh, actual decay itself. And these events occur within um, 24 to 72 hours. Okay. And once they occur, there's irreversible damage to the cells, which cannot, uh, as yet with science, we don't know any how such cells can be um, revived or okay. even resurrected. Okay. Yes. Murray, be careful. What does the crime say about it? Does it support this view in any way? Auz billahi min shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Um, let me begin by saying that uh, in any way, Islam and science are always in consonance with whatever that the results are. Islam does not oppose science. Allah has stated in the Holy Quran that he has not created any human being, any soul okay. that does not taste of death. And when you taste death, you are not coming back. It is a journey of continuation. From there, the soul goes. When the soul is taken away, then there is another world that you have been transferred. Yeah, there is a transition from this okay. world to the next world. This body is not needed there. This is just like a car. If you remove the engine, the body has no use. Okay. Because it cannot move to any place. 
So the soul is the engine that moves the body that we, that we see. Okay. But the soul is only needed in the next world, but not this physical body okay. because it has no place there and it has no use there. So whatever scientifically has been reached as the results for human transition of okay. life, it is exactly what the Quran supports. Okay. But there have been stories told um, of prophets that have been able to resurrect the dead. Yeah. How true? You see... And uh, how possible it, um, with regards to the scriptures? You see, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran is that you will never find any incongruity or inconsistency in his uh, sunnah, his okay. practice. Okay. If it is the practice of God that if you die, he brings you back with the same body, same, same life. And in this world, you would have seen examples of that before, okay. right? Man has been created for a very long time. When man was kept on this earth, it's a thousands of years ago. So if there is any, any example of that, there would have been many, not one, right? Prophet resurrecting people after death is the language of religion. Okay. Every subject has its language. Specific. Specific language, yes. It has its vocabs that okay. it uses in addressing an issue. You see, in, uh, in, in religion, when they say people are revived, people are resurrected from the dead. Okay. If you are not godly, if you are not godly, okay. in religion we, are, we consider you dead. So the time you become religious, in, in, in terms of the religious vocabs, you have become alive. Okay. And so is, is that what we call born again? Good. That is what our counterparts in, in the Christian religion, they say born again. Okay. You don't go through your mother's womb again to come out. No, it is a religious term. Okay. So if you are not godly, then you are dead in our religious terms. Okay. The time you become godly, that at that time, then you have become alive. You are resurrected from the dead. Okay. This is what these parables are. They are similitudes. They are parables. They are metaphors. And they need not to be just taken with the English that is written there because we are not speaking English language. Okay. It is a, a language that is divine, that needs understanding, okay. that needs interpretation, and that needs a listening ear before you can get to know what Allah is trying or Allah is teaching uh, mankind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Doctor, you uh, mentioned that it is not possible that a body that is dead is resurrected. Could it be that sometimes um, the situations we see and think that these bodies have actually been resurrected were actually uh, in certain medical states that we do not understand? For example, um, in the state of coma. Yeah, thank you very much. Rightly so. Um, when a, a person is in coma, okay. the person, based on the degree of coma, would have a, a various levels of consciousness. Okay. Um, at the extreme form, the person would just be lying down with no physical activity, okay. but then you know that the organs are functioning. Yeah. And then we have the extreme form of it where people, I mean, get into a state where uh, a term has been coined as near death experience, meaning okay. they are almost at the brinks of death. Okay. And with modern science, we have realized that as long as the organs are functioning, there is always a way of resuscitating, okay. whereby you can resuscitate somebody who is in a coma back to life, okay. I mean, back to um, consciousness. Okay. On the other hand, too, um, we have states whereby uh, a person is brain dead. That is with, with the modern scientific terminologies. Okay. And immediately, once there is brain death, the brain is the center organ that coordinates all the human physiology. Yes, sir. And modern science has given us the opportunity to be able to um, perhaps um, salvage organs when the person is declared brain dead. But even that one, it is within a number of minutes which that can be done 
Other than that, once the process of decay and the cascades of events, uh, biochemical events set in, the damage that occurs to the cells are irreversible. Okay. So in short, when uh, a person is in coma, depending on the degree of coma, okay. there's a possibility of resuscitating or reviving the person back to, you know, a normal conscious state. Okay. But at a certain point, even the resuscitation, the revival of such a person is really very difficult. Very difficult. Yes. All right. Um, earlier, I spoke to some people on this topic and they have this to say. Here's the video. Oh, okay. Can someone who has died physically be resurrected? In my belief, I think so, because even in the Bible, Jesus resurrected a dead man. But then scientifically, it hasn't been proven that anybody who has died physically has been resurrected. But because I'm a Christian, I believe that by faith, if someone dies and is supposed to be resurrected, the person can be resurrected. Um, to me, I believe that somebody who has died physically can be resurrected based on the circumstances surrounding the person's death. Because we all know that God created us and we are on this and one day we will by all means die. And at times too, some people die some mysterious death which is not the kind of death that God wants them to die because the devil can do anything. And most of times um, in, in the Bible, Jesus resurrected a lot of people. And I can use Lazarus uh, for an example. And uh, I believe that when you really believe in God and you know why you are on this earth and you know your purpose, the reason why God sent you onto this earth and you allow yourself for him to use you, anything that happens and is not from God, you can effect change on that thing. And so if somebody should die and it's the cause of the devil that the person die, it's not yet the person's time to die and go back to God, you can resolve the person. Yes, I also believe in miracle. So just by Jesus Christ was able to raise Lazarus from death, someone can also be resurrected, depending on your belief system. But me, I believe that somebody can be resurrected. It's all about miracle. So when God does that, then it's fine. Right? If the person is not resurrected, fine. Yeah. Uh, according to the, the, the laws of creation, basically, we as human beings, we are supposed to die and then be resurrected at a certain time, maybe, let's say, on the day of judgment. But not necessarily you be uh, resurrected physically. I mean, for humans who were in contact with you to see you again. For me, I don't really think that can happen. But even in the Quran, in Surah Al Qiyam, Allah even tells us how we are going to be resurrected after our death. So I don't, I do not really think that uh, it's going to be possible for someone to die and then be physically resurrected. Um, yeah, I think so. I think someone who has died physically can be resurrected. Because, okay, I'm a Christian and um, in the Bible, Jesus resurrected Lazarus when he died. And when he was leaving, they said that's when he was ascending to heaven. He did say that he was not going to leave us alone. He would send the Spirit to be a comforter. So I think um, he's sending us the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, to guide us. And we believe in him that he can do all things. So I think when we believe that a dead person like, can resurrect from the dead, I think it's, yeah, something like that. Um, in my opinion, I think yes. Uh, because uh, during the era of Jesus Christ, people, people were resurrected. Talk about Lazarus and many others. And then if truly someone is being called by God, yeah, it can be. It, it's possible someone can be resurrected from the dead. But then with this modern era pastors, you don't really know who to believe. And everybody says a lot of things. But then in the end, there are other ones that have been called by God. And we've witnessed, okay, I don't know, I, I can't really pinpoint, but we've heard about a lot of issues where um, a man of God has resurrected someone from the dead. So I, I believe it's possible. Welcome back. Um, Murabi Sahib, yeah. there have been um, stories told of Jesus Christ resurrecting the dead, as we have seen in the video. And resurrection after death is um, a certainty. Yeah, of course. As stated in certain verses of the Holy Quran. Yeah. Is there no point of convergence regarding these two ideas? 
what meaning can we make out of them? Yeah, thank you very much. You see, <laughs> there's a, a day of judgment, a day of resurrection for okay. every soul. Okay. Well, because both Bible, Vedas, even in all other religions, they all believe that there is a day of resurrection. Okay. But the day of resurrection does not need these physical bodies that you and I are sitting watching each other now. Right? Okay. If it's about these bodies, some people die in fire. Right? With these bodies. Some people, through sea, we never found them. They have been eaten by animals. So on the day, if they are to be resurrected with these bodies, where will they get that body? Are you getting my point? Okay. Like Hindus, they do crimination. They burn yeah. the dead. So on, on the day of judgment or the day of resurrection, where will they what get that bodies? What happens to the cremated bodies? Bodies, right? So this maybe is... the ashes will represent. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, the, the true the true of the matter is this: that yeah. anybody, anybody that truly dies physically, okay, cannot be resurrected with this same physical body. No. Okay. It is out of place in all religions. You see, uh, uh, when you went to the road and t uh, listened to the views, okay. they all mention about Lazarus, Lazarus, Lazarus. What of the other thousand, mil million of Christians that passed away? What of the thousands that passed away in front of Jesus? Wasn't he having the mercy to bring any of, the, any of them back? Is it only Lazarus? Why only him? Are you getting my point? Okay. Just as doctor was saying, or you, you can so so could it could it be that he was not actually he was dead not physically? Actually dead. Okay. Yes. If Jesus had that power to bring the dead, okay, the physically dead into life, he wouldn't have allowed any of his followers to to die and okay. be buried, because he needs followers. He has come because of them. So if he had the power to bring the physical dead into life with the same body, okay. he wouldn't have allowed his. Uh, his followers to go. Okay. He would have resurrected each and every one of them to prove to the Jews that what he has come to tell them is really from God. Okay. But we have only one example everybody is giving. It means Lazarus was not physically dead. This is what we should understand. Okay. Even in the Holy Quran, Jesus himself is reported to have said he was speaking to God. Okay. He is telling God that وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا مَا دُمْتُ فِيهِ فَلَمَّا تَوَفَيْتَنِي كُنْتَ أَنْتَ رَكِيبَ عَلَيْهِ Right? He is saying, God, when thou did cause me to die, you were the watcher over them. Because God is questioning him, are you the one who instructed your followers to take you and your mother as God? He said, no, my God, I have not got that power. I am not in that position to do that. But when you caused me to die, you yeah. knew what, when I was alive, you knew what I did. But when you caused me to die, you, uh, Allah, is not the watcher over them. Okay. You knew what they are doing, right? Kunta anta rakiba you were watching a wa anta ala kulli shayin shaheed. And everything is under your, your knowledge. You know everything about it. I didn't instruct them to take okay. me and my mother or any other thing as God. I instructed them to worship you. And you alone, because he, in the beginning of the verse, he said, I only instructed them, worship your Lord, my Lord. Okay. And even in the Bible, he said the same thing. Hear, O Israel, your Lord, your God is one. He, he said this also in the Bible, right? Okay. So he did not, he did not physically raise any dead body into life. That was not his mission. And that was not the purpose for which God sent him. Okay. God sent him to bring the dead in spirit of God okay. to life. And that is what he did by winning the souls. And that is what our, all the religions of the world today are all gearing their powers towards. Even that we coin a term now that if somebody accepts Jesus today, we say the person is what? Born again. Born again. But yeah. the person does not go through the process of birth, of nine months again before the person comes. These are religious terms. These are connotations that are only with respect to religion. 
So if you do not use your religious intellect to view them, but want to view them physically as ordinary ways, then you will be out of the way. Okay. Yes. That's clear. Um, doctor, you... Is it possible... Somebody mentioned that when the devil causes your death, it is not possible for you to be brought back to life. Is it possible for the devil to cause someone to die? Well, the devil causing death, I think that is a, a, a perception of, uh, uh, of the individual. Okay. Uh, in the sense that we know, as I mean, has been said in the Holy Quran, it is Allah who gives life and is the one who takes life. Okay. And uh, there are verses that has been, um, uh, in which it has been mentioned that Almighty Allah takes the soul of the sleeping person and also the soul of those who are sleeping and yeah. yet are not dead. And for those for whom death has been decreed, he returns the soul to them. Okay. I mean, he, he retains he, the he soul. Retains. And yes. for those for whom it hasn't been decreed, the soul is returned to them until an appointed time. Okay. So um, Islam and uh, the Holy Quran being the ultimate book of all religions, uh, it stands to say that there is no, nothing about death that you can attribute to anybody else except uh, Almighty Allah. Okay. And uh, secondly, it may also be that we in our a scientific field may not understand the, the cause of a particular death. And perhaps people who are not uh, scientifically oriented may just then begin to attribute these deaths to maybe the, the doing of somebody, the devil, and all that. Yeah. So in brief, I, I think that that's it. Uh, to add to that, Allah has said in the Holy Quran, وَلَنْ يُوَخِرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَّلُهَا That God does not delay with respect to the death of any one of you when your time comes. Okay. So devil have no, no play in your, about your death. Okay. That is your way of dying. Okay. There's no any devil. Devil didn't make you to come into this world, right? Okay. If you are, so, are out of what, whatever your hands have earned to you, what you did to your own soul, whatever wrong you have committed to your own self, you cannot, be, you cannot attribute this to any devil. Okay. Because God said, okay. He has made distinct to you human being with faculty, yeah. human being of thinking, right from wrong. So you choose where to go. Okay. So in this way, no devil can cause your death. No. We have accidents, we have a lot of things that cause, that people's lives get, and, uh, get ended at. But okay. that does not warrant you to say that it's the devil. Okay. That does not give you the permission to say that that will go in contradiction to what God is saying in the religions to us. Okay. Because he said he brought us and he will be the only person who will take us from this earth again. Then if the devil had that power, if he had that power like God, okay. and he is not in contention with God about this, then there is a problem somewhere. The devil has nothing to do with you dying or me dying. No. We came from Allah, and to Allah shall be our ultimate return. Okay. Yes. Doctor, you made a, a very important point, but I'm, I want to ask this uh, to reiterate. In your fold, um, you are an astute medical practitioner, and for all these years in practice, have, you, have there been a situation where you have come across um, a medical situation that at the end of the day you have no knowledge at all about what the cause of death might be of a particular person that um, probably must have died in the course of your work. That you cannot say that this is the cause. Probably some spirits somewhere have done something. Thank you very much. Yes. Um for that, um, there are several experiences okay. of um, people who die under mysterious conditions that you can't really figure out what um, <clears throat> could have been the cause of death. Okay. And 
um, sometimes it is due to limitation of perhaps resources. Mm -hmm. But then okay. there are times that you get very clear cut uh, cases where you know that all things being equal, this person, I mean, should be alive oh. and yet the person dies. That is the limitation of our practice and our knowledge. Okay. Um, which goes to confirm that when the time is due, there's nothing that would um, um, reverse the process. Okay. And there have been times that uh, maybe you know clearly that this is the cause of uh, the ailment of the person, particularly surgically. Okay. And then you get the treatment meted out, and yet the person just, you know, passes, passes on. on. Yeah. And uh, it, it, so it happens severally, whereby you get, and there are times also that you also, within your, your, your uh, should I say, limited human knowledge, yeah. don't give somebody a dog chance of survival, and the person still hangs on. Yeah. So, I mean, it goes to confirm the fact that when the time is not due, I mean, it is not uh, really about what you do or what you don't do. It is Almighty Allah that determines um, the appointed time of death for a person. Okay, okay. Let, let me add something to this. Yes, briefly. It, it, it should be clear that doctors treat sicknesses, not death. Okay. It should be clear. People shouldn't think that. It, we have sent people it, it, outside it, to the yes. best hospitals in that the world, clear. and yeah. they still die. Yeah. So doctors are there to treat ailments. They are there to treat sicknesses. But they are not there to treat the death. No. There haven't been any, any history recorded that somebody was dead and was treated by doctors and he came back to life. Okay. This should be clear. Okay. And that is not the point that we are here to argue. It should be clear to people that it is not about the treatment of death that we are talking. It is about treatment of sicknesses that doctors have been given their knowledge, they have been given their skill, God has given them that range. Because he said we should seek, seek uh, this thing for ailment when we are... Listen, we are not well. We, we should go well. for he healing when we are not well. Okay. He said it. But he did say when you are, you are dead, send the person for treatment. Okay. Yes, this should be very clearly established. Well, this has been um, a very fruitful discussion, and uh, I would have loved us to continue the discussion. But unfortunately, this is all that time will allow. Murebi Gafur Said. Um, is a missionary, an Ahmadi missionary at the Muslim Television Ahmadiyya International. And Dr. Majid Allah Al Hassan is a medical practitioner. They have been my guests on the show today on the topic resurrection of the physical dead. Is that possible? Is it ever possible that someone that has died physically can be resurrected from both sides? medically and religiously, they say it is not possible. It is not possible to bring back someone that is dead. But when someone is sick, humans can try their best. But the ultimate solution lies in the hands of God Almighty. Until same time, same day, next week. My name is Hafiz Din Akram. And the program remains Islam and Science. May the peace and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon us all.